Hi everyone, Cindy Olin here with Create Your Own Luck and Love, and I'm so excited to be here today with my dear friend and client, Amy Yamada. Hello. Hi, Amy. And what I want to talk a little bit about, um, many of you guys have heard me talk about her recently, how um, she was married for 14 years, then you know, ended another relationship and literally less than two weeks later met the love of her life. And what we're going to actually speak into is what started happening in that relationship, which Amy noticed that she was falling into some old patterns and what happened next. So Amy, I wanna hear you and what your experience was around that. Yeah, for sure. Thank you, Cindy. And, um, you know, it's, it's really interesting to look back now and see how it didn't even dawn on me that I was doing that. You know, I think that once I was in this amazing relationship, all I want to do is spend all my time with him, you know, and, and he was always wanting to spend time with me. And so I really like made myself available because I thought, well, gosh, I want to, I want to spend time with him. And I remember at one point you had said to me to just, you know, Amy, just pace yourself. You know, it's really important that you pace yourself. And I wasn't always 100% coachable because I'm like, but I want to spend time with him. Like, I love this man. He's amazing. And uh, you had even mentioned that. Just know that at some point he may, he may pull back. Right. And, and even though I, I trusted you as my coach and everything, in the back of my mind, I was like, I was like no, but we're different. It's gonna, this time's going to be different, you know? Um, and I was... I was on a trip for a, a training that I was, I was in and I got a call from him and he said, you know, I think I, I think I need to take a step back from our relationship. I mean, I was, my, I, my heart just dropped into my stomach, you know, and I was so shocked because everything seemed to be going so well. And I was, you know, I was really enjoying spending this quality time with this amazing man. And um, I remember talking to you, Cindy, and you said, okay, well, so this is what's happening. You know, it, it was going really fast. And, um, and again, I was going into these old patterns. So, so what I learned in that experience from you was to really know what to do in order to create space for him to come back, you know, yeah. and I was afraid. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, you know, the biggest thing is you guys is that, um, Amy did exactly what I said when he asked for space and wanting a step back. And the reason why he did that was because he, they were spending so much time together. So it was like too much too soon. And it's kind of like, you ever hear that phrase when, you know, you're driving down the road and all of a sudden something is in front of you and then you put on the brakes really quick and all the stuff comes to the front of mm -hmm. the car. So he had a lot of emotion building up and he wasn't quite sure what to do with that. And what men do is they'll push the person they love away until they can really manage their emotions mm -hmm. um, around that. And what a lot of women do, they hit the panic button, right? They'll go, you know, gosh, I don't, um, I don't know what to do. And they'll start to come closer to him mm -hmm. when he asks for space, give it to him. And what happened next, Amy? Yeah. So I, I really wanted to reach out to him and I'm like, what if I could just have a conversation with him and have a heart to heart, you know? <laughs> and, um, and I'm, I'm glad that you were coaching me around this. And you said, anytime you want to reach out to him, let's have a coaching call. You know, it's like, okay. So, um, so every time he said, give him space, give him space and watch what happens. Just trust me. And so sure enough, he began reaching back out to me, you know, whether it was a text message or he was, you know, visiting his parents, his father's ill right now. Um, and he sent me a photo from that, you know, so he just started to slowly but surely come back to me. And, and I learned that me just always jumping to my phone every time it lit up wasn't me being focused on, you know, loving myself and respecting myself to, still have my life, which I do have a very full life, you know? Yeah. So it really helped me to have your guidance and support through that so that I knew exactly, you know, just how to respond, still be myself, but respond in a normal way and not in a, you know, psychotic, frantic, frantic. Right. Like, like if I don't respond to him right now, he's going to forget about me. Right. And that's not the case. In fact, with men, absence makes the heart grow fonder. Mm -hmm. So you really took that on well. And now I'm happy to report you guys are closer than 
forever. Yes, it's amazing. It's amazing. Actually, just the other night, I was. Um, he he reached out to me. He's like, hey, he's, he's, he has two kids. You know, they're ten and eight. And he said, hey, what are you doing this evening? And I was like, oh, I'm just kind of wrapping up my day, you know. And he said, well, we're going to the park, and do you want to join us? And so I brought my dog, and so we're out of the park, and I'm pushing his kids on the swing, and we're having this amazing conversation. And I just had a moment where I was, you know, sitting on the park bench next to him. It's beautiful weather with my dog. And I just, I just took it all in. And I thought about how, you know, during that time that we had space that felt like forever. I'm so grateful. I mean, I, I get a little emotional about it because I'm so grateful I had you, Cindy, to guide me through that time and support me and, and, um, and just know that, you know, just to really trust my journey with it. And sure enough, you know, now he, he just, he's always just being so loving and so wonderful. And we're talking about our future, which is Yay. super exciting. I know. <laughs> I cannot wait till you guys get engaged. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I know that's coming up really soon. So you guys tune in for Amy's engagement. <laughs> I feel Thank like we're on a so show. <laughs> Amy, for sharing with everyone here in love, you know, and create your own luck and loves community. And I know that this is, will be really beneficial and helpful. So sending love. Mwah.